Okay, this is Absolute Tech here. Um, this video is going to be about Hackintosh. Um, I currently made my first Hackintosh, a uh, fully successful computer. Um, mainly, I've always tried to do it on pre built computers. And let me tell you, it is way easier <laughs> just buying your own components. Um, mainly, make sure you get a motherboard, preferably Gigabyte, but follow the Tony Mac guy. He is uh, seems to be the king of the Hackintosh world. I got the Z97HD3 um, followed with the uh, 750Ti uh, GPU. Uh, there, there was a few issues uh, and a lot of people has had a problem with this. Um, pretty much all I did was use the NV underscore Disable equals one and then install the native driver For I'm, I'm using Yosemite which I first installed your El Capitan But I I think the Yosemite uh, just installed a lot easier uh, Got the G skill RAM came free with the motherboard can't really fight that uh, I got the i5 4460 uh, Intel and the 500 watt power supply honestly i am i mean this is a 500 dollars computer i did not barely go over 500 dollars. i think everything seems to be running pretty well hey we're on the hackintosh um it, everything seems to be running pretty well i mean obviously i don't have a camera so i can't test out the facetime uh, I mean, the App Store works. Uh, I've even done some of the updates that I could do. I've downloaded some of my old apps. I load up so I can show you that it does work. It allows me my past purchases. Um, it's allowing me to log in. Um, you know, a lot of this... I do think and believe that this is um, a much cheaper way to go about, you know, if, if you're really wanting the OSSX, um, this is the way to go. I mean, if you have the, if you're tech savvy enough and can do a little bit of research, you can do this. Um, I really, again, like I, I said this earlier, I really suggest you buying, you know, your own motherboard instead of buying a pre-built computer. The motherboard is probably the most important thing here. Um, pretty much all I did with this particular um, motherboard is I downloaded the Multi Beast and used uh, my e uh, Ethernet driver, um, the audio driver that it calls for. With I got all that information from Tony Max website. I mean, uh, Tony Mac does seem to be the man with this stuff. I mean, this website here, he does a really good job of helping, um, you know, buyer's guide. Um, I give all the credit, almost every bit of it, to this guy, because I probably wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't. You know, motherboards, this is all my information, you know. I think I spent uh, eighty nine dollars on this motherboard with free free RAM, G Skill RAM, which wasn't too bad. So again, though, um, I think uh, everything seems to be running really well. Um, really haven't done much with it, you know, to change. Um, it's showing up my. Ne uh, GeForce GTX 750 Ti to two gigabytes of uh, GDR5 um, serial numbers coming in right, showing it's in early 2008. Um, registering the right display. I mean, even, this is actually faster than my real Mac. Is what's funny about it. Um, you know the the. the People with the 750 Ti, I think there's been a little bit of, there's not very many videos, I think maybe I just got lucky, but some of the reviews I was reading, 
a lot of people is having problems it's understandable you know I had to download this specifically to the exact version that I have OS X Yosemite people have problems with this I can help them out because that was um, a lot of people had issues um, maybe I was one of the more luckier ones you know so uh, if you guys have any questions I'd be more than happy to help you guys with this because I know you know how much I've, I've been wanting to successfully do this myself I can imagine what other people and maybe longer have been trying to get things to work it's absolute tech